Hey everyone, Dev here, and welcome to Arizona Sunshine 2 Overview. Recently there is this weird trend of putting uh, deluxe versions of games on the pre-order instead of the base ones. In my eyes to kinda trick people into paying more, cause it, the same happened with Ghostbusters. And if you don't read carefully nowadays, you might end up giving more money than you want. Sure it's worth to support VR devs in general, but I just found it interesting that that's happening. <laughs> so Arizona Sunshine 2 is a next-gen sequel of the highly anticipated action horror game, where with your new best friend Buddy, you go on adventure around the apocalyptic Arizona that was completely zombified and pave your way in search for some answers. I did play the prequel once and it was around the time when I was too fresh in virtual reality, maybe like not even six months, into it. Even then, I quickly realized that it's finishing its lifespan. It was also competing with Death Horizon, which we all know who came on top, at least in terms of mechanics, maybe not necessarily the storyline. It's an essential zombie arcade shooter, like you can't get anything more than that in terms of zombie genre. It's hard to tell what I'm looking for since I'm not that into the series. We all know that zombies are kind of overdone at this point, unless you're Capcom and you're bringing innovation with Resident Evil. Not only it's a heavy saturated market, but also there's a big competition out there. From me, I'm just gonna be essentially looking out at the proper mechanics and if everything makes sense, are we gonna look into the playthrough? Don't know, really. <laughs> it is a story-based game, so there might be some incentive to it. So we'll see how everything turns out. <laughs> Let's go back to Arizona. I really tied one on last night. Oh, oh my head. Oh, I am parched. Oh, I'm so thirsty. All right, I put a cigarette out in that one. Oh, oh, it smells like hot burps in here. I need some air. What a dump. Hello? Why the hell did I lock this? Where did I put the key? Can I blow myself already? A key? Oh my god. Oh sure. Keys in the fridge. I guess that made sense after 50 beers. 50? Well actually, I like that things are interactional here, like... Oh, right. I pissed in that one. Oh my god. There's a fucking metaphor. Hey, Fred. Fancy seeing you here. Wow. <laughs> I'm never tired of being tired of that view. This is actually not that bad. I fully thought it's gonna be really stinky, but. I mean, there could be some more polish in the textures, but. For Quest 2 version, this is not the worst at all. Oh my god. I love the UI though. Ew. <laughs> What the? You know, Fred, last night I finally worked up the courage to try and drink myself out of here permanently. But it didn't work. I still woke up, 
Still stuck with you. Oh, whoa. I got a gun. Maybe it's time I tried the direct approach, huh? This is a lot of them. Oh, sure, Fred. Walk away. Oh, wow. Holy shit! Hey! Hey! Over here! Hey! Down here! Hey! Freddy! Fuck! Oh! I gotta get over there! I gotta get over there! Where are they going? Well, anyways, this is a lot of moving stuff. Which doesn't really happen on Quest. the hell is this land okay well we're starting don't try to stop me Fred that chopper's got my name on it three shots of nothing oh let me get some more magazines. That's it. In terms of the model quality, what's that, Fred? You think I can't hit those targets from here? Fuck you, Freddy. Just watch me. It's a little bit blocky, but considering there's gonna be a lot of them... It's like, fine. And the attacks aren't really like, you know... Oh! That aggressive, though... I like the gore. There is definitely a lot of that. <laughs> the, the magazines aren't really that visible, so I need to look out for that. Okay, me. You gotta get that shutter open. Alright, let's see what we got here. Can I grab this? Okay, better stay out of my way now, Fred. Ah, oh, it's funny what we used to care about. Two pistols. Very unusable in VR because you can't reload two at the same time. But good for style. Hello. Do I have it on my head? <laughs> At least it's not covering my vision. It's good to explore, that's for sure. Chopper, Fred, you better believe it. Mit, how are you alive, even as a zombie? Oh, Freddy, I'm 
I'm saving. Freddy, leave him alone up there. I don't think anyone survived that. Don't worry. Your, your new best friend's on his way. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I'm almost there. Hold on. I am so focused on searching with the magazines. Stop trying to slow me down, Fred. They can climb. Human contact. Here I come. No, Freddy. Fucking you, fucking asshole. Don't. No. Fuck. Can I do that? Well, at least it's massive. I just want one human being, Fred! Is that too much to ask for? Just one fucking human being! One! <sighs> Is that too much to ask for, you fucking selfish fuck, Freddy? Aggressive, but okay. Not necessarily sustainable shooting like that, but it's fun. What you got on your wrist there, guy? Huh? Believe me when I tell you, gentlemen, we can solve this problem once and for all. We can make a zero. But we can't do it without patient zero. Their genetic code is vital to the process. No way. They're trying to make a vaccine. A gas station out on 43rd. The cashier, Travis Smith. You need to get over there and find him. Holy shit, Fred. Your buddies are looking for Freddy number one, patient zero. And... Wait. Oh. Wait. If I find patient zero first, then... Find me. Ah. Hey. Hey, Lou, man. <laughs> wow, I, I I didn't know you were back there. I won't bite if you don't. Ah. Hey there. Nice to meet you, little guy. Wanna be friends? Okay, what can I tempt you out with? Hmm. Okay, this is definitely the best dog in VR. <laughs> How about this? Hmm? You wanna play fetch? Oh. Go get it. Work, buddy. Ooh, that's a good name for you, buddy. <laughs> you like it? Okay, buddy, it is. <laughs> Hot diggity dog. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, your dead friend there sounds like he was looking for patient zero. So I figure if we find them first, then the military are gonna come find us. Yeah, and that, my furry little friend, is how we get rescued. Mm -hmm. You want to come? You want to go? Ah, oh, I knew you were going to say that. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Why he was in the helicopter in the first place? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Don't touch him. 
Damn, buddy! <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. Holy shit! Good boy. I have a murderer on my hands. Oh my god, the blood. Well, at least I don't need to worry about food. Oh, who's a good boy? You okay, little buddy? Good dog. Jesus. Oh, what the? Okay, he's standing by up until I won't get close, which is nice. Who doesn't like to be pet, huh? Let's have you. Oh! Press to give body an order. Stay close! Over there, please! Oof. Yes! When it actually connects, it's nice. Though I don't know what happened in the first two. Off with your friend! What the? He is crazy. <laughs> you take a pet like no problem, right? Not afraid at all. That's a great dog right there. I'm not sure what's... Ah, I thought he found something. The consistency with the headshots, like... I either pull out too early for style points or... They have variable HP. Can I store this? In my wrist. <laughs> Crafting stuff. Hey little dog, you wanna play fetch the key? Get it buddy! You know, buddy, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. What a good dog! Here, boy! But stay here. <laughs> By using this guzzle corp decontamination chip, you accept the risk of side effects, including but not limited to chronic nausea, fainting, loss of appetite, loss of... Come on, buddy. Let's go find patient zero. Okay, I had to leave to the main menu because the loading tanks are a little bit nutty in this game and I'm afraid the recording will crash because of it. Though, I kinda enjoyed the game, not gonna lie. It's definitely a flair of this arcade genre and zombie shooter stuff that it's a classic for us here. I will say that I thought it's gonna look way worse than it is. Like, there's something to say about the models and their quality, though 
with the numbers that I see, I think it's kind of justifiable. Like we're not gonna get the same quality as in Walking Dead because it's not the same level of gameplay. Storyline so far pretty cute. Mechanics are fine too. I'm afraid a lot of people will miss it because of the price point. Like it could be very well 10 bucks less and then everyone will be fine with it. <laughs> and this is the quest 2 build, so with quest 3 enhancements coming eventually, this is gonna look even better. I think I was mostly surprised about the environment because it is very atmospheric and you actually feel like you're in the apocalyptic world. Besides maybe some interactable objects like those bottles and stuff. I think we'll actually continue this along the way, which is kind of a surprise. It is definitely a huge step up from the first game and it's nice to see this game kind of coming back to the roots but also utilizing the next generation of virtual reality so i think it's all good with me it's not like spectacular but it's not bad either